hey there this is love you more 555 if you are a returning subscriber hey you if you're new here hey hey this is gonna be a message for my divine feminines okay let's look let's look and see what's coming towards you divine feminine what good news you got coming in i'm gonna clear the energy card in my protection we're gonna get right into the cars so let's go I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is, so shall it be. I wish the same to those beautiful souls who come across my channel with love and light in your heart. Those with malignant energy, shoot fly, shoot fly, don't bother me. I do mean that. I really do. It's finished? Okay. Put that to the side. So, Divine Feminine, we're going to start off with... Uh, empowerment excuse me the empath empowerment deck okay we're only gonna get three of these let's see what's going on for you what you need to be aware when it comes to your emotions divine feminine okay get some big cards <laughs> and let's go one long way and then that's it all right now let's do a cut practice humility mm, okay let's go divine feminine we have focus on gratitude look at that little singing bowl it say don't wait for a crisis to happen to be grateful for your life today focus on what you have to be thankful for so there's a need for gratitude right now divine feminine you know, some of y'all, you may be feeling like you don't got everything you need or you may want more. The universe said, be grateful for what you have and they, they will bring in more. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Some of y'all, you know, visualize a shield of protection. To protect yourself from toxic people or situations, imagine a shield of white light surrounding your body. This keeps negativity out of, excuse me, keep negativity out and lets positive energy in. So some of y'all, you may need to start... Uh, what is it called? It's grounding, grounding, shielding, and protecting yourself. So imagine a white light around you, and imagine this white light around you everywhere you go. Some of y'all, you may be in the midst of a lot of toxic people, and this could be anybody. This could be your work environment, your home environment, your family, like your friend group. You could be around a lot of toxic people, and you could be very sensitive to their energy, divine feminine. The universe is saying, learn how to guard yourself from people's emotions, and, and you know, people's shortcomings, and don't let it affect you protect yourself from it one more up in my third eye. Mm -hmm. observe don't absorb again a lot of y'all may be in situations where the environment is kind of hostile okay and fyi if you're in a abusive situation uh my recommendation always was to be to leave what you need to understand is you stronger than you know but to say observe don't absorb if you are taking on the stress of others try observing the situation from a distance this will increase your energy all right so some of y'all again there's there's more talk about distancing yourself from toxic people at this time you see all this beautiful purple aura around you and she's wearing a crown with like pink and purple flowers her gown is white this talks about your upper chakras your connection to the universe this is you being able to step into your divine feminine energy and you know that's free flow you know being the energy of fluidity like going with the flow and everything things around you needs to be calm at this time i feel like some of y'all could be getting a lot of downloads and a lot of information that's trying to come into you but because you're in an environment around people in a certain environment that is really unhealthy for you, it could be really affecting how you connect with the universe, how you connect with your ancestors. All right, so bottom of the deck, we have let yourself receive support. It says it's often easier for empaths to give than to receive. Allow others to support you. Experience the pleasure of their caring energy. So this is what I'm talking about. Like divine feminine energy is receptive energy. You just sit back, you attract. Divine masculine energy is, is yang. It's attraction. Excuse me, not attraction. It's action. It's like extroverted. Um, 
your energy is receiving the masculine energy is like outward a action or they the protector right so there's a need for you to step into your divine feminine energy some of y'all you could be giving too much to people place and thing there's a need for you to stop giving so much and sit back and you know let people give to you or put yourself in an energy where you can surround yourself with people who are going to give to you equally as you give to them all right we're going to get a few of these legendary ladies card okay we're going to get about four all right Ooh. these not that big but they're kind of long all right final shuffle Hathor, Joy. We're going to read all these, by the way, too. Ooh, she she's like, come on. Let's two together. I want them to come out one by itself. Okay, there go. Oh, come on. More twos. Bast and magic. Ooh, Hakati and Bast. So, pleasure and magic. Mm -hmm. One, please. Thank you. Sekma, healing. Uh -huh. Okay, you know, you know, the first two is Egyptian. Somebody here may have, some of y'all divine feminists may have Egyptian roots. Okay, whether you know it or not. We have Pella. Determination. So right now you can't be stopped, okay? Stand in your power, beautiful divine feminist. And then we have hell. Rebirth. <laughs> Scorpionic energy. You're going through some type of transformation, divine feminine. Bottom of the deck, we have Artemis. Independence. This is why, see, some of y'all are going through this transformation because the universe wants you to be more independent, baby. You may be codependent on people, place, and situation, and you also could be letting that codependency stagnate you, okay? Some of y'all, you don't know when to stop giving, and there's a need to pull your energy back. You need to use your energy right now. It's going to be help you. It's going to help you, like, come, become more independent, all right? Be it on your own so you won't have to depend on people, okay? First one is Hathor. We're going to read her first. Yeah, and like I said, Egyptian, goddess of love and joy, Hathor, the golden one, appears to usher in a new era of celebration and joy. You will find happiness if you decide to pursue the avenue you're contemplating. Hooray. Some of y'all, you may be thinking about going down a certain path. This is your confirmation. Hathor is helping you. She's here to bring you celebrations and joy. So go down that path. If you want to do something, do it. If you want to create something, create it. You want to leave a person to pay some thing or a family, whatever. What, right now, whatever you want to do, you're being supported in, the, in said action. So whatever role you want to take right now, you're being supported. Because what you're thinking about, that is the right thing to do. And some of y'all, you may have fear around making a certain change or... Some of y'all, it could be relocating, it could be anything, maybe changing jobs, changing relationships, you're leaving your family behind, whatever it is. Right now, you're supported because you're going to go to a celebrations here, okay? We have Sekma. Da, 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 da. Where'd you go? There you go. Sekma. Healing, lioness goddess of destruction and healing. Sekma shows you the power of breaking things down in order to rebuild them better. What I just say? Some of y'all, you afraid to leave something. Well, you afraid to let something fall. Let it fall because better is in store for you, okay? Let this shit crumbles. Whatever foundation you built, it may be on rocky ground because Pell is sitting on top of this uh, volcano right here. Her name could be Pell. I could be uh, mispronouncing that if I do, forgive me. But I'm looking at this car right here. She's sitting in a volcano. It's like something is about to erupt. Something was not built on like a strong foundation and the universe is telling you to let that shit fall. Let it crumble. Okay? Let it crumble. Bear is coming. All right. It said it's time to do just that. She'll send you messages in your dreams about what will help you transform during your next evolution. So you're going through some type of evolution. You're going through some type of change metamorphosis here. And the universe is saying the things you have built up until now, they are not sturdy foundations and maybe you know this intuitively but you could be afraid your physical your physical body may be afraid to make certain steps and changes but your metaphysical body which is your soul it's ready 
is ready. Your body, your, your physical body, the hermit part of you got to get into alignment. And it has to release fears because some of y'all, you need to release certain, you know, like I said, play, person, place, a thing, job, family, relationship, whatever not, because it's toxic. It is an environment where you're not going to be allowed to grow like God wants you to grow. So there's a need to leave some things behind. Next, let's look at Pam. Right to her. She's Hawaiian. Okay. Temptress. God is a fire and volcanoes. Pell is guiding you to find your own path and step in with determination. You'll find that you can do anything you set your mind to, Divine Feminine. You can do anything you set your mind to. And I really feel like strongly your metaphysical body, again, which is your soul, okay, your spirit, it knows the way. It knows what it wants. It's your, it's, your, it's your physical body, your human part of you just resisting this change, okay? But if you do, you're going to bring about some type of rebirth up here, okay? Now we go to hell. She's Norse. It's time to relinquish and release what isn't working for you. It's always difficult to acknowledge an ending, but goddess of death hell is here to remind you that, well, hold on. That is the only way to find yourself at a new beginning. So some of y'all, regardless of what you want to do, you're going to have to release some things. You're not releasing something, person, place, or thing is actually causing you to become stagnant, okay? There could be like extreme fear around leaving something and you're wondering if you leave this behind, it's better gonna be here. The universe said, absolutely. All four of these cards talks about joy, happiness, and more than anything, releasing. There's a need to release certain things. People, places, things, whatever, Divine Feminine. There's a need to release, baby. There's a need to release. Okay, let's look into the tarot a little bit and see what's going on with your Divine Feminine. If I can. Hold on, what, what I'm looking for? Tarot. I just, I'm like, I'm like, listen now. I'm like, I know I had a deck, okay? This is called... Luna de la Universe Tarot. I don't know if I said that right or not. Okay. The cards, I like the back and I like the front. The imagery is kind of exquisite. Okay, it's really nice. So, Divine Family, let's get a spread out here for you. Then we're going to clarify. Then we're going to move on to my Oracle deck to see what good stuff is coming in. What, what changes can you expect on this new path? Expect to expect to especially. Especially. Listen now, get on away from here. Especially uh, when you decide to release a, a person, place, or thing. Okay? She keeps staying at the bottom, and I want you to see. She is the empress. There's growth here. There's growth and expansion, and you're relinquishing control or letting something go. Letting something go and letting go and letting God, allowing the universe to uh, guide your steps, order your steps. There's going to be growth in that, okay? There's a need for you to release right now, Divine Feminine. Release, 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 love. There's a need to release. All right, one more shuffle, y'all. And some of y'all, you know, I'm hearing this song, and it goes, it goes, I don't know who made it right now. I know it came, I think it came from Love and Basketball, if I'm not mistaken. So now Lathan, she's a Virgo, by the way. I forgot what oh, my F sign is, but I definitely looked him up before, because I'm a nosy motherfucker. It's Aquarius in me. <laughs> but uh, not in the point where I'm intrusive. I want to correct that, make sure we get an understanding here, but... I'm hearing, um, you made a fool of me, tell me why. I keep hearing that chorus. I don't, I don't remember the name of the song. I know the song. I really do, but I don't remember nothing about the song right now. That's crazy. But all I keep hearing is the chorus. You made a fool of me, tell me why. Divine Feminine, you may feel like somebody made a fool of you, and all you want to know is why. The universe is telling you don't. <clears throat> it don't matter the why. The universe is telling you to keep it moving, keep it pushing. So some of y'all, you may feel hurt in a situation, or somebody may feel hurt by you because you're deciding to move on and not take their shit no more. For some of y'all, if this has something to do with a relationship, and they're gonna feel as though like, hey, you made a fool of me. Tell me why. But you didn't make a fool of this person. More than like divine feminine, they made a fool of you. Okay. So let's go. Let's see what's your spread is. What we got going on here? You made a fool of me. Tell me why. 
nine, six of cups. This is something dealing with the past. Some of y'all, this could be somebody you already released. Okay, they could be in the energy where they, they see you moving forward and they just like a oh, page of cups. Yeah, somebody is very, <laughs> somebody want to reconcile with, somebody want to apologize to you. This is someone that you, again, you could be feeling like divine feminine. Somebody made a fool of you. This could be a situation that you've been left, but you're finally releasing it, okay? Page of cups. You see how this page of cups is? She got a back turn. Okay, so you're moving away. And it's crazy because the Six of Cups came out then, the Page of Cups. It's like whatever part of you this is coming back to you or from somebody from the past, you don't want it. Your back is turned to this person, place, or thing, okay? But somebody definitely here felt like you made a fool of me. Tell me why. This is somebody who, ooh, I want to... I'm too damn sensitive, y'all, for real, for real. If you know me in real life, you'll know I ain't fucking faking. Like, this just hit my little feelings when this came out. Look how these three cards came out. I want you to see this. The star, the queen of pentacles, and the fucking empress. Somebody know they missed out on you. I don't know what you're doing in life, divine feminine. I don't know how you showing up. Well, excuse me. I see how the fuck you showing up or how the fuck you about to show up. Somebody is, like, disappointed that they play with you, that they missed out on this because you're showing up as the star, the queen of pentacles, and a fucking empress. If you're a woman, you know anything about terror, if you know anything about positive, have vibrational energy, you will know if somebody come out like this, they the shit. Mm. I don't care if you ain't got a luxury car, big house, whatever. Now, this is energy, baby. This is how you showing up to the world. And somebody see that, and they are in severe regret for playing with you, Divine Feminine. They took you for granted. You're some, you, you were somebody. I'm going to say you were somebody's Divine Feminine, and they missed out on it. This is somebody from the past, and they regret this shit. <laughs> they regret it. And it's crazy that the Empress came out because the Empress kept being at the bottom of the deck when I shuffled Eight of Swords. You ain't fucking with this person. This person feels stuck. They feel restricted. I dropped my marker. This person feels stuck. They feel restricted. And this is going towards the future position. So, yeah. You know, this in front of you. This is somebody who is trying to hold on to you. They don't want you to move on, Divine Feminine. The sun. But you will. Look how she bathing in that golden tub. You will. You've been cleansed. You've been purified. This could be what's holding you. This this could be what was holding you back. Some of y'all, a past situation that you've been holding on to energetically, maybe uh, subconsciously, unconsciously, unbeknownst to you, you've been holding on to something from the past. You're finally letting that go. Because after the eight of swords is the sun. That's freedom. You don't feel stuck anymore, okay? Somebody else feels stuck, though. Somebody from your past. Ooh-wee, this could be a king of cups. This could be a king of cups who's salty that they messed over you. Towers could be a Scorpio, Seven of Pentacles. Now they want to come in and invest. Yeah, whoever this King of Cups is, this could be a Scorpio for some of y'all. They want to invest now because they seeing you as the Star Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. The Empress is all four queens in the upright because she had to go through all them bitches and excuse my friends, but she had to go through all them women in the reverse. So she went through poverty. She went through uh, the, the point where she was losing her mind. She went through the point where she didn't know what she wanted when it comes to love. Maybe she kept hooking up with people who was not so savory. Like she went through all those queens in reverse. So somebody that could be a Scorpio from your past who is seeing you as everything. They are. And they want to invest in you with the seven of pentacles. Okay. We have the devil. I would even go so far as to say whoever this person is from your path, they obsessed with you. You hear me? They obsessed with you. They obsessed with your energy. They're watching you with the hermit. They want to bring you this knight of pentacles, and I feel like they've been wanting to do this, and it's been a long time coming. It's been slow coming. But this person feel left out in the cold by you with the five of pentacles here. But they do have an ace of cups for you. And look, nine of cups. That's the ten of cups with the magician. Ooh, this person may have Gemini in their chart as well. This person is manifesting you. They're trying to manifest you, but I feel like nine. You gone. <laughs> they want you because they see you in this golden bathtub. It's like this person, some of y'all, this person is also envisioning having sexy time with you, you know, hooking up with you. But whoever this Scorpio is from your past, dude, they, they are all over the place. All they want to do is reconcile with you. This person wants sovereignty. They want peace with you. They really want to be with you. Here goes Scorpio and Libra again with judgment here. This is somebody who's made a final decision. Look, the Ace of Pentacles to come in to give you this. Some of y'all, this is your person. This is a faded connection coming in. And look at the Ace of Swords and the Fool with justice and the Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Divine Feminine. 
Look at these cards, how they came out, y'all. Some of y'all, that could be a Scorpio from the past that's your person. Keep in mind, this could be somebody that you ain't been with in a long time or somebody maybe for some of y'all that you didn't get really get things off the ground with because the Seven of Pentacles is behind his energy. So that, that mean like with the tower, this is like a sudden realization, an epiphany. It's like something hit this person. It's, uh, real, it's, it's like, um, damn, I can't get my race out. It's like they have some type of epiphany about you. Look at this beautiful crystal tower here. Towers don't normally towers are normally broke the fuck up and falling apart. This is someone who wants to build a strong foundation, a firm foundation with you. I told you if anything was faulty in your way, it's time for it to let it crumble. Ooh, we yeah, whoever this Scorpio is though, y'all. Mm-hmm. Divine feminine. This your person. This is your person, baby. And look at and this just my hand alone, all four of the aces is in here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Swords. All four of them in this little couple of hands, this little couple of cards right here with the King of Cups. And if this is not a water sign, which is absolute, could be a Scorpio for some of y'all, but the Tower is also Aries energy. It could be an Aries for some of y'all. Whoever this person is, doesn't matter. Don't get caught up on the signs. Whoever this person is, though, their heart is open for you now because they've had some type of shocking realization, some type of an epiphany about you. And whoever you are, I don't care what your sign is. You could be an earth sign, and particularly because Queen of Pentacles came out. But like I said, you the Empress, so you embody all. We have Aquarius and then Virgo towards the Capricorn heavy. So they can be your sun sign. And somebody here also could be with earth here and Aquarius. You could be a Capricorn Aquarius cusper. Okay, for some of y'all. But yes, you know your person. And then look, oh, after that we have the Queen of Wands, the Lovers, and then the Ace of Wands. Oh, I ain't have all four aces, but there we go. Three of Cups, this is a reconciliation. This is somebody who's very, you are somebody who's very passionate, charismatic, charismatic business um, oriented, outgoing, bold, sexy, confidence, and they wanna, man, they wanna be with you. Page of Swords, they are literally watching you. They got this one, this person is trying to manifest you into their life, okay? And for some of y'all, if this ain't a past person that you used to deal with, this is a new person watching you. Six of Cups, y'all may have past life ties here. Then we have the Six of Swords. Moving on to Karma Waters. Behind that, we have the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Yeah, this your person. Some of y'all, this is a new person watching you. Some of y'all, this is an old person that wants to wants to reconcile with you because they see you. Oh, they see you clear, baby. The star, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress, baby, they see you. You also could be a Libra or a Taurus. But again, keep in mind, no matter what your sign is, baby, you a divine feminine. You an Empress, so you embody all zodiac signs. You, you encompass all energy. So you can come out as anybody. You the Empress, okay? Don't matter what your sign is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, not them. We're going to take these. Let's see. Um, give me this page of cups. Page of cups, we have the Hierophant upright, the Lovers upright, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So some of y'all, if this is somebody that, like, you was messing with in the past and you let this person go, for some of y'all, it's too late for this person to reconcile with you. The Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. It's not it's not favorable for to reconcile with this person. Even though this person recognizes who you are now, it may be unfavorable for y'all to reconnect, or it's just unfavorable conditions right now for y'all to reconnect. It's an instability, unexpected disturbance, short-term success, a temporary downturn, and look, due to external forces beyond your control, be prepared for some contingencies, success that can't last or built on shaky ground. This could have been someone maybe in the past, y'all had something that wasn't built on shaky ground, or there's something right now that you got going on that's not built on shaky ground, and it's meant for you to let it go, because the will of fortune at the bottom of the deck is in the upright. So some of y'all, that could be a foundation right now, you're in the midst of letting go, because it was built on on shaky foundation okay and when you do you got new love coming in you got the hierophant here taurus energy that is empress energy you could be a taurus okay but you got the hierophant and the lovers and both of them is in the upright the hierophant god you know that's god overall you know actually traditionally it represents the pope 
but it's the high priest in Greek. It's a practical wisdom, guidance, spiritual progress, ethics, and mentorship. So whatever this coming in, it is fated for you, okay? That is that is commitment, that's marriage, and then a lover's a divine counterpart, okay? Like I said, this your person. This could be someone from the past that's trying to come back towards you. Some of y'all, this somebody new who watching you, divine feminine. We have love, choices, union, relationship, positive alignment between one's belief and actions. You are capable of making the right choice, a favorable car in love or relationship reading, choice between two love options or a choice in other areas of your life. So there's a choice here. I feel like somebody has contemplated with the Knight of Pentacles for a long time if they wanted to bring you this offer. But after the Knight of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck was the Ace of Pentacles. So this is someone who's absolutely going to come towards you. It doesn't matter if you reject them or not. Because I feel like this person feel like this is what's going to happen here. Like you're not going to give them a chance. For some of y'all, you may not because I don't know what this person did or didn't do to you. Okay, Divine Feminine? But there's definitely some type of faded connection coming in with the Hierophant and the Lovers. That's marriage all day long. But... The will of fortune is in reverse. Like I said, if you tried with this person already, maybe before when you tried with this person, it was built on like a faulty foundation. Again, the will of fortune is showing up in the upright in the bottom of the deck. So this definitely could be some type of turnaround, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. What else do I want? Eight of swords. Why is this eight of swords here? Ooh, that came right on now. The devil reversed. Oof imprisonment selfishness obsession and i tell you somebody may be a little obsessed with you you may be restricting yourself unnecessarily fear of lack or fear of being judged may also indicate a struggle with a problem in it problematic addiction so some of y'all this person could be in the midst of uh, releasing some type of addiction maybe that's part of the reason if this person is a past person like that you've been with in this life maybe they're in the midst of like getting rid of some type of addiction this person could be restricting their self because they have a fear they have a fear of lack or they have a fear of being judged by you so this person may have some not so nice behavior patterns habits and maybe in the past that's a reason why this person didn't want to fuck with you neither or y'all didn't get off the ground because they could have had a addiction and stuff coming between the relationship for some of y'all or if this is a new person watching you they obsessed with you but they also in the midst of healing some type of fear of lack and you know they they trying to get that confidence up because you may intimidate the fuck out of this man divine feminine okay top of the decks we got the eight of cup upright so let's read it it's a turning point, contemplation, seeking meaning, moving on. The decision to make a change for the for the better. Leaving something behind, whether a job, a home, a relationship, or an old habit of thoughts or behaviors. A choice to make, excuse me, a choice to move on may be spurred by a defeat of some kind, but still facilitates positive growth. Contemplation and seeking perspective, spending time in nature can help you gain clarity. This is someone who is in the midst of walking away from some things. And so are you, Divine Feminine. You saw that in the cards over here. You and this person could be in the midst of walking away from things for y'all can come together, okay? We got the Page of Swords in the upright again. Somebody is absolutely keeping an eye on you. I don't care if they old or new. Somebody is watching you. Somebody keeping up with you. And then they got tempers at the bottom of the deck. Let's read this, okay? Communication, good time, and balance, healing, equanimity. That means equal give and take, baby. Balance. Patience, growth. Be patient with yourself and others. Use your diplomacy skill to help resolve a conflict. So this person is seeking to resolve some type of conflict with you in some way, shape, or form. If this is a past person, again, for some of y'all, this is a new person watching you, and they just intimidated by you, honey. They very intimidated by you, Divine Family. You, come, you came out up here with these goddesses and some very strong energy. So this person could be heavily intimidated by you. And, you know, you, you may scare this man. Shit, for real. Because another thing, too, because you coming out as a star queen, the pentacles, and the empress, they know they can't play with you. Whoever this is, they know they can't play with you because you ain't finna go for that shit. Ain't no empress, okay, no divine feminine and upright. Ain't nobody finna take no breadcrumbs or let nobody fucking play with them. So this person know, whoever this is, you ain't playing with them. You ain't gonna play with them and you ain't gonna accept no half-ass offer. Boom, bam, bang, okay? <laughs> shit. We have Judy... Mm. I always pronounce this wrong. Jehudiel. That's how you pronounce it. Leadership and endeavor. It says laudation. That's praise. Okay. Of God. Helps you feel. Excuse me. Helps us feel worthy of stepping into a leadership role. Represents divine authority of the Holy Trinity. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And is linked with the sacred heart. You got to look that up. That's in the Bible too. If you, you get a. Uh, I forgot what. 
what book this is that talks about the sacred high, but it's definitely in the Bible. It says the bearer of God's merciful love. So this is somebody who wants to lay everything at your foot. <laughs> this is somebody who wants to be at the mercy of your love. This is somebody who wants to have victory with you. This is somebody who's ready to step up into this leadership role to be your husband. Uh, what that is? I want to be your man. I want to be your man. I think that is Roger or, like, or the Gap Band or something like that. It's old. I want to be your man. I want to be your man. Divine Feminine, this person want to be your man. Hey, I will even go so far and say they want to be your husband, okay? They want to be your person. I want to be with you. I want to be your man. I want to be a man. Progress in number time. One, two, three, four. So it's 1234. Some of y'all could be seeing this. This is let you know that things are happening in divine order and things are in alignment and in sync. It said you are moving up the spiritual ladder. Your angels are, are acknowledging your intentions and your steps towards growth. Know that you are being encouraged and supported, okay? This appears when things are on the rise in your life and the momentum is building. Try to try not to rush anything right now and stay present. So if somebody do come towards you and you decide to rec uh, like reconcile with them, this is something that's in alignment with you. It is a possibility for things to work out with this person. But the universe said take your time. You don't got to rush anything. And don't don't let this person rush you either because they may be a little, you know, impatient. Because like I said, somebody here want to get, I'm looking at the sun card, you naked as hell, your back looking beautiful in that glowing tub. Somebody want to get you naked. They want to they wanna have sexy time with you. A new person or an old person. Take away a resume, divine feminine. All right? <laughs> I want to be your man. I want to be your man. Is that the Gap Band or that's Raj or something? I, I know that. I just can't fucking get it right now. Masculine polarity energy. This is a manly man. This is positive energy. The signs that resonate with this is Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. So some of y'all, that can be this masculine sign. Uh, this element uh, connected to this masculine polarity is fire and air. Somebody could definitely be a fire or an air sign who want to come towards you. We have masculine, yang, active extrovert self-expressive dominant energy this is a manly man whoever this is coming towards you now we have jibo gift this person want to bring you a gift gifts generosity um the time frame for this ruin is september 28th through october 13th so some of y'all this person could be reaching out to you between the hours of 6 30 p.m and 7 30 p.m on september 28th through october 13th okay they could be coming in we have zakiel Creation and chaos. Ooh, excuse me, creation from chaos. So, build it from the ground up. God's knowledge, understanding of God. This angel is the epitome of the divine feminine. Didn't I say step in your divine feminine energy? Did I not say that? It say, and she is aligned with the great cosmic mother. She guides us to seek spiritual perfection. She is the teacher of esoteric knowledge. Go ahead now. Mythology, spells, and rituals are her, you know, are her, like, um, her niche. I'm going to say, that's what she's good at. It says, as the keeper of the Akashic Records, she offers you the key to unlocking all your lifetimes. So some of y'all, you may have been with somebody many lifetimes, or you're about to do something. It could have something to do with your spiritual gifts for some of y'all divine feminine. You're about to unlock lifetimes of, you know, some type of... Uh, Mm, something you did before you've done it many times and you're about to, the knowledge is about to start flooding in divine feminine whatever it is you're doing i don't care whatever you did in the past life many lifetimes you're about to start doing it and you're going to create from chaos so whatever you're about to burn down you're going to be able to create from it even better okay we also have othelia here it's a um, homestead and land so some of y'all you're about to move or like um maybe buy some land or inherit some property or something like that it's a Honich family comfort stability, June 14th. So this already passed. Some of y'all, you could have applied for like a home or something, or maybe you start making preparations to buy a home or lease another apartment, whatever the case may be. You could have did this between the hours of 10.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. on June 14th. So if you apply for something like a home or you're trying to move somewhere, you're going to get approved for it, even if it's like a home loan, okay? We have card in the moon here. It's a openly and directly express your feelings. This is, this is telling you to speak up for yourself. Like I said, if you got to crush something, which I feel like a lot of y'all have to crumble a foundation you already building on because it's built on faulty ground, and there's a need for you to speak your truth, okay? 
We also have the Chinese element of meto. We have birth years. The last number of your birth is zero or one, associated with solidity. Okay, so you're a solid person, divine feminine, and you have strong willpower here, okay? If this is your element. Go ahead, Divine Feminine. I'm talking to Divine Feminine, who's a part of the 144,000, okay? And then we have Hamliel, leader of the powers, Virgo energy, angel of birth, household, and harvest, aids us in increasing our abilities to think in an orderly and logical manner, helps with the mind, helps us to strengthen our resilience and to receive positive abundance and blessings from our efforts. So you're about to reap from your efforts, Divine Feminine. The universe said, you know, some of y'all, you got some, you got some, you got some tan down to do. Uh, what's, that's my song here. I came in like a wrecking ball. Molly Savage, you got to wreck some shit. Divine Feminine, you got to let some shit crumble. And it's okay. It's okay, baby. You're going to get much better from it, but you definitely got to let some shit fall. We have root chakra affirmation. Okay? That's that's who that's who you are. That's the essence of you. Your root chakra. That's your identity. Life force element air. Okay? I am fully grounded and supported. I joyfully nourish my mind, body, and spirit. I have enough. I know enough. I am enough. I accept that good health is my natural state. So some of y'all, if you've been having health problems, your root chakra is about to get into alignment. Okay? Beautiful. Go ahead, Divine Feminine. Go ahead, Divine Feminine. Ah, uh, let's see. Ooh, we have two more here. We have Chiron, the wounded healer. This is also, as of late, been linked to Virgo energy. So a lot of stability here, earth energy, a lot of ground in here. Queen of Pentacles did come out. Somebody here, you may have Virgo, a Virgo placement that's very significant here. Woundedness, suffering, fragmentation, healing, paradise, dilemmas, renunciation, initiation, fusion, the shaman, the key, the maverick, integration. So you're going through some type of integration right now, Divine Feminine. Chiron has strong links with healing of all kind, but especially with complementary medicine. That's alternative. That's natural healing. Period. Point blank. I don't got time to spend on this. Natural healing, baby. Um, alternative medicine, okay? Natural medicine. Not not taking what Big Pharma put out to the world. That's it. Archangel Zakiel, freedom and transmutation. I'm telling you, there's going to be growth and you freeing yourself from certain things. Some of y'all, you need to use your intellectual properties right now with this Gemini here. The great alchemist, grace of God, righteousness of God, the angel of freedom, benevolence, and transfiguration and forgiveness helps to release negativity and transmute limited beliefs and thought patterns, okay? Whenever you feel you cannot, hold on, whenever you feel you cannot move ahead from the past hurts or have trouble forgiving someone, this archangel can assist you with developing compassion and forgiveness. So some of y'all, you may need to forgive this person, whether you want to be with them or not. Some of y'all could be a Gemini. It could be a Virgo too. The Virgo study coming out. Oh, you could be a Virgo. Take away a resume. But definitely divine feminine here is a need to forgive. Okay? It's going to be freedom in that forgiveness. Okay? Forgiving somebody is going to transmute some type of energy you've been holding on to divine feminine. Okay? I want to make that very clear. We also have two. Well, ooh, okay. Chinese element of wood. Birth year. The last number of your birth is four or five associated with imagination and creativity. All right, go ahead now. Then we have Dagas, day, okay? Something about the day. So this person may show up in the daytime. This represents day. It's a new star, optimism, and realizations. I feel like whoever this masculine, they had definitely had some type of epiphany about you. They had some type of realization, and it shocked them to their core. Um, this time, this uh, particular ruin is associated with the summer solstice. So something could, again, June 14th is twice here. Something significant about June 14th to the end of June, okay, that something happened, okay? Maybe you apply for something, maybe you pray for something, whatever it is, this double confirmation, something about June 14th could have been a very significant day for y'all, okay? Something could happen between 11.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. or something would be happening by next Year June, some of y'all, if you getting with somebody by next year June, y'all could be getting married. June fourteenth, for some reason, could be y'all, y'all wedding date. And fourteen break down to a five. This is a, this going to be like a change for your life. Literally, some of y'all could be meeting somebody if this is a new person or somebody you reconciling with. If you choose to take them back, y'all could be getting married next year by June fourteenth. I ain't playing. 
and 14 break down to a five. That is changing. If you break down 29, that's 11, baby. Twin flame. I ain't playing. Somebody finna meet their twin flame. Y'all might, y'all might wind up getting married by next summer solstice, which is June 14th through the 29th. Stop playing. All right, divine family. Go ahead, divine family. I'm rooting for you, baby. I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for my divine feminists, okay? I'm rooting for y'all. The crown chakra, Sahasarara. That's how you pronounce that, okay? It's your first chakra. This is something that's being activated. And look, in that card, if you remember what card that was, observe, don't absorb, it was violet all around that beautiful feminine. What I tell you, what I tell you, location, the top of your head, thoughts, this governs thoughts. This energy center controls your connectedness to source as well as your sense of universal consciousness, wisdom, unity, and self-knowledge, intuition, and inner wisdom. Baby, you're being upgraded. Baby, let me upgrade you. And she a Virgo, so I'm not even really crazy her music, but that's what I heard. Baby, let me upgrade you. So whoever this masculine coming into your life, they coming in to upgrade you. You understand me? They coming to upgrade you, divine feminine. We got foil. Cleansing. Some of y'all, you may need to cleanse. Angel of the waters. You may need to get by water, baby. Helps cleanse the planet and ourselves of any debris, toxic, negative vibrations, and emotions. Helps to understand and manage emotions. Her light can flow around and through you to cleanse every part of your physical and energetic body, which is your metaphysical body. Helps us in the flow of life with her carefree attitude and innocent fearlessness motto, let go and let flow. Then I tell you, you know, it's time for you to get into like the flow of thing fluidity and that's what it said at the bottom of this card divine feminine divine feminine we also got triple number one 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 they go that 11 though some of y'all this is a twin coming towards you and i don't even like that red twin flame this is divine counterpart i would rather say that your thoughts and intentions are manifesting at this time so be careful with your thoughts divine feminine keep them positive because you're manifesting whether you know it or not unconsciously for some of y'all you are manifesting something that you want and you don't realize so keep your thoughts positive keep a high vibration and say focus on what you love not what you fear okay a new journey of self is on the horizon confidence motivation and independence big achievements and good fortune i said what i said bing bam boom if you're seeing one 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 on the clock that's what that mean now we have the heart chakra Anahata chakra, okay, the fourth chakra. Some of y'all, you going through like a crown, and was that the crown? Yes, it was the crown. You're going through like a crown and a heart chakra uh, awakening, or this masculine is. Color wash, green, location, center of the chest, trust, fearlessness, peace, gratitude, generosity, connectedness, as well as change, transformation, healthy boundaries, depth in relationship, D E P T H, I always got to say that, with others. Emotional control, love for oneself, love and relationships in general. So your heart is opening, divine feminine, or your heart is opening. And some of y'all, there's a masculine. Their heart is opening. Why? Zach, mm. <laughs> Zach Lord, get on at that. Zachariel. Okay, I think I said that right. Graceful surrender. So whoever this masculine is coming towards you, you and this masculine could be in the energy of surrendering things. Like for real, y'all could be gracefully bowing out of situations, just letting it go, letting the shit crumble. I'm telling you, letting go and let God. It's a remembrance of God, the angel of surrender. Reminds us that we do not have to carry our burdens alone and that it's okay to ask for help when we need it. Help. Mm helps us to surround hold on helps us to surrender excuse me to the divine when we have nowhere else to turn so some of y'all things are being broke down and you're not going to have anywhere to turn but to the divine or there's a masculine being broke down so they don't have no choice but to turn to god because they can go finish uh you know going through this healing process because it's something y'all got to do together here divine feminine Anything else want to come out of here before I move on? Moving on up <laughs> to the east side. That's the damn Jeffersons. <laughs> George Jefferson, that man was a whole fool. I don't know if anybody ever watched that show, but he made the show, baby. He definitely made the show. Some of y'all, you know, somebody could be a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the realm of the soul, desire, passion, drive, enterprise, mutation, transformation. Well, transmutation and transformation. This person could have, like, a very fiery spirit. I said spill it. What the hell? A very fiery spirit 
this person may be very passionate if they're not a fire sign they just got this burning desire for you personality loves to connect with others participates in large social gatherings like to be the center of attention uh, you gotta watch that motivated energetic progressive often kind compassionate and caring adventurous brave and confident so this who coming towards you this some somebody coming towards you that's carrying this fire element whether they're a fire sign or not we got for who cattle this talks about prosperity baby prosperity values and status all that is about to go up because you're about to connect with this masculine okay again something about fucking june something happened okay or something could happen between june 29th and july 14th that's herb harvest that's a european fest okay Let's talk about that another time but definitely something here something happened some type of shift happened between june 14th and july 14th that's a month span time. It's literally 30 days. Something happened. Something transformed. Maybe this mask and got some type of epiphany or maybe something happened, you know, with you or whatever the case may be. And again, these dates, June 14th, June 29th, July 14th, that's, that's like a wedding day. Some of y'all, you're going to be getting married by next year to somebody. Like for real, it's gonna be—it's a lot of abundance, prosperity, and good luck, okay, around this relationship. Plus, your value and your status in the world is gonna go up when you connect with this masculine. We also have Ingus. This is the God Ing, the God Ing, protection, fertility, development. Uh, the God of, oh, excuse me, I'm about to burp. God Ing is the God of prosperity for weather, fertility, sacred kinship and virility good harvest so there's good harvest coming for you in this mask and when y'all get together something about may 14th through the 29th could be significant here maybe sometime next year or something happened this year around that time and we have carabelle illumination the flames which dance around the throne of God. He calls forth peace and light and sends it out in all directions. Uses his flame to ignite the highest heights of wisdom and knowledge within us to help everyone on the planet awaken to a sin. You're going through an ascension or you already have divine feminine. And I feel like you have because you came out as a starter queen of pentacles and the empress. There's a masculine that's want to come towards you or looking at you again, want to come towards you. They from the past or you got a past life with them. This person has been a illuminated about who you are they're going through a, a big change whoever this masculine is okay let's look at the top one this earth so somebody could be an earth sign too it say the cradle of humanity home and or place of origin physical location and dharma a sense of purpose you give this masculine a sense of purpose they know that you are part of their purpose somebody that has some type of big epiphany you have really been shown to this masculine in a positive attribute and they are hooked on you and they can't wait to get to you they want to have sexy time with you but they want to be with you but they also want to get in the bed with you this person may need to release dharma right of uh, right way of living and path of righteousness virtuous and true living your inheritance purpose and true calling in life this is what you and this mask is coming together for y'all have a, a mission on this earth you understand me okay in the bottom of the deck we have claire gustus okay clear tasting some of y'all may have this maybe your masculine and you this is the ability to experience tasting things that are not actually on your taste buds this is most common with food and drinks but in mediumship work this can also be taste related to how a spirit passes. okay this sense can also work closely with clear alliance when you receive taste and smell at the same time. So some of y'all, you may have Claire Alliance and Claire Gustins. You could have two of these Claire's, okay? Or your masculine do. And also at the top, again, we have cardinal energy. I'm gonna read this with my nosy, but Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, the starters of the Zodiac, responsible for starting, initiating, and breathing new life into something. Starts off each season. So whoever this person is, they all about action, baby. And they coming. <laughs> Divine Feminine, they coming. Hi. Look, Divine Feminine, I'm excited for you. All right. I'm excited for you, Divine Feminine. All right. All right. Uh-uh. Uh, J. Cola Aquarius. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, all right, let's see. Let's get one of these wild offerings for each one of y'all, okay? But before we do that, let's go ahead and get some signs. Hold on, you know I love my astrological signs. I read this just like a tarot deck a lot of time, okay? Ooh, Libra. This could be a Libra. Oh, I'm talking to a Libra, okay? Oh, all right. This this is this is too much going on. 
Woo we like oh my god y'all you know excuse me I could specifically be talking to my air water and earth signs I ain't leaving y'all out fire cause your energy all over here but let me tell you something this could be an air sign a water sign or earth sign coming towards you but guess what this person got an ace of swords for you an ace of cups for you and an ace of pentacles who don't want that who the fuck don't want that who don't want that divine feminine shit if you don't want it I'll take it baby okay yes yes okay uh, and again, keep in mind, these could be your signs as well. We have Pisces here, okay? So Libra, to clarify, the air sign. Water sign is a, could be a Pisces. And let me see. Taurus could be the earth sign, okay? Six, one more, seven. I love seven. Let me one more. And then we have Jupiter, more Pisces and Sagittarius energy, okay? So for some of y'all, there could be a Pisces or a Sagittarius. Come, confirmation on the Pisces. Air sign, it could be a Libra, for sure, but it could be Aquarius or a Gemini. Again, it should be your sign. We got water here. Again, heavy on the Pisces. Also could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. We have Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn, heavy on the Taurus. All right? And then we have Gemini at the bottom of the deck for another air sign. All right? So that's the sign that could be coming towards you, or this could be your sign. Take it where it resonates, okay? Now, let's go. Give me water, my water divine feminines. Give me a card for my water divine feminines. Doubt. All right, water sign. Don't doubt this. It say offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. Do you hear that? It never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So water signs, if you feel a doubt, especially if you doubt this person, give it to God. God going to help you with that. All right, give me my fire queens. Hey, divine feminine body so fire sign you may need to work on your health baby show me divine how to love and fully care for this body please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is some of y'all you may not be having any health ailments you may just need to accept yourself the way you are because somebody coming towards you they say accept you exactly the way you are. I don't care if you got a food for stretch marks. I don't care if you're small, big, little. Somebody love you just the way you are. Remember that fire sign. Don't ever doubt that. You love you. And the more you love on you, the more people on the outside love on you. Because they can see it on you. They can feel it. They can smell it. So love on you. Love who you are. All of you. Okay? Earth signs. Ooh, that popped out. Oh, earth signs. Okay. You and this person may have a mission. It say service. You stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. Ooh, we. It say you offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. What this is telling you, earth signs, I, I ain't trying to get on y'all booty now, but if you've been a, a, a earth sign feminine that is used to getting things by manipulation or, you know, not being truthful or telling half truth or, you know, like using your sensuality to get what you want, the universe said that ain't going to work. You have to be true of heart. And if you want somebody to be true to you and give to you, honestly, you have to give the same back in return. That's it. That's all. Okay. And if you don't fly under that category, don't take offense to it. Okay. Some of y'all, it's just time to be of service to someone else outside of you. All right. Air signs. Oh, that flew. Work. You and this person may have some type of work to do together too, uh, Air Sign, or you may need to do some work. It says, it's not available, excuse me, I'm not available to receive all who can benefit from my work. So this is time I put yourself out there. So again, you and this masculine may have a job out here, Air Signs. It says, use me to relieve suffering on the planet. Oh, you got a big call to Air Signs. May all who need to find me, the divine, hold on, I'm going to read that back. May all who need me find me. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. So whatever you're about to do for work, air signs, you're going to do something on this planet. You're going to help people. And God is going to replenish your resources. You're always going to have prosperity as long as you of service. As long as you of doing your work, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to doing on your path, God going to always make sure you're prosperous and God will, also, will always provide for you in this masculine. Whatever you're about to do. Bottom of this deck, we have calmness. The inner divine is the witness of all remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over. Mm. All right now, divine feminine. And last but not least, angel number. Angel number. Angel number. 
Give me one for my water sign feminines. Water signs, we have 15, 15, a big break. Okay, say the big break. Invention, excuse me, innovation, focus, creation, progress, forward movement, skills, and goals. An opportunity, help, extra cash, or other support is coming your way. Go ahead, Divine Feminine, Water Signs. It says, so keep going and have fun when performing your task. The most tremendous success comes from passion. All efforts will be rewarded big time. So whatever work you put in, you're going to get it. You're going to reap back tenfold. So put in that work, Water Signs. All right? Give me my fire sign. Ooh, ooh, fire sign. 99, 99. Baby, you done learned some type of lesson. You can close out this cycle, you know, gracefully. Okay, you can move on. You ain't no consequence. You done paid back your car and make that. You done learned your lesson. It's time for you to move forward, love. Combination results, benefits, reflection, completion. Take stock of your accomplishment and how you've arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive towards your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it. And the reward goes to who? You. The reward goes to you, fire sign. Give me earth sign. We have... Oh! Earth sign, I did uh I did a karmic reading last night and baby y'all had true love. Now you got a twin on your ass. Look at that. 11 11. Y'all got good, y'all got good energy for y'all love life, earth signs, okay? Or people with heavy earth placements. Don't get offended. Take away and resonate, okay? Wish come true though. <laughs> Wish come true, earth sign, baby. Divine feminine. Moderation, patience, flowing, self-realization, manifestation, gateway, taking action. You're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news experience new opportunities or an exciting new acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. So whoever this person you're about to meet, you're going to meet them in the most inconspicuous way. You're going to probably just suddenly bump into them and it's going to be like sparks flying. It's going to be love at first sight type shit. Because for some of y'all, this is your wish come true. Air signs. I want money, not send lots of money. You and this masculine are going through some type of initiation, air signs. You're being initiated, all right? Initiation, moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action, unconditional love. Time to implement long, cherished ideas. You're on the right track towards making your dreams and visions a reality. The right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent your way. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust the process, Air Sam. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, what did I say? Then I said y'all paid y'all karma back, baby. A A A karma here. It's a balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. A lot of money is coming your way. Divine feminine, do you hear me? Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. So don't don't take anybody for granted, y'all. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential bing bam boom this concludes your message divine feminine i hope this message find you in good spirit i hope it helped and i hope it put a smile on your face peace out